A welcome sight for folks along the Grand River, the arrival of the Nia Bay, the ice-cutting vessel from Cleveland, and the Reesley, a Canadian Coast Guard cutter working together on Lake Erie to relieve the threat of flooding along local rivers from ice jams and melting snow. On this cold, windy, but beautiful winter day, folks came out to enjoy the view and to watch the Nia Bay and Reesley do their work. Some decided to capture the moment on video and on film. An amazing sight, even for the crew at the Fairport Harbor Coast Guard Station. So they're coming down, they're going to be breaking the ice, allowing the uh, rest of the ice to flow through so it doesn't cause any more flooding than it already has. So that's basically what they're doing. They're just breaking the ice up for the river, allowing the uh, water to come, come, come through. After doing tedious work at the mouth of the river, the Nia Bay came up the Grand River, breaking ice left and right. I mean, we, we, we take all the safety precautions, so no one's going to get hurt, or the ships are not going to get hurt, so you know, we just make sure safety first, and that's our main concern. <laughs> what do you think about the Nia Bay? I think it's pretty cool. A close-up Kodak moment as the Nia Bay turned and came up river so close you could almost touch it. Among those on board, Coast Guard Chief Petty Officer Robert Lanier. Yes, uh, the Nia Bay and the icebreakers are throughout the Great Lake conduct uh, some of the largest domestic icebreaking in the Coast Guard, actually. And um, they're one of the hardest working fleets during the wintertime, uh, not only breaking ice and uh, freeing some of the flood areas, but also escorting a lot of commerce that comes through the Great Lakes during the winter season. Several passes along the Grand River, and the work of the Nia Bay was done, with other waterways along the Lake Erie shoreline waiting to be cleared of ice jams. In Fairport Harbor, Ken Robinson, WTAM.com.